So it's my pleasure. I'd like to summarize the topic uh, about the hyperidentical stem cell transplantation and the CAR-T therapy during COVID-19 pandemic in China. And uh, we all know the pandemic is uh, in the world and many countries suffer from the, pand uh, suffer from the COVID-19. So in China and uh, last year, we have uh, such a uh, uh, pandemic of the COVID-19. And so many provinces had affected by the, this uh, disease. So, uh, so how we can deal such as a COVID-19 pandemic? And first, we think the emerging restructuring and the management for the whole hospital is very important. I show the slides in my the new campus, special call for the COVID-19 patients. Uh, we have the, the building, different building for the staff, for the patients, for the ICU, for the administration, for the part. Uh, over the 500, 500 medical staff worked here. And in all the COVID-19 uh, in our the city, and we have the end of uh, COVID-19 lung transplantation recipient, and we have the new children uh, birth in our the special room. And we also have the use the by artificial liver support system treated the, the, uh, the cytokine release syndrome of the COVID-19 patients. I think it is very important for the support such patient uh, overcome. And uh, we have the last year, Amplia, we have the handbook of the COVID-19 prevention and treatment and uh, published with the many uh, language uh, for the uh, for the experience can be shared as another colleague. So for the hematological malignancies, I think it is very important. We should have the strategy to control the pandemic or the hematological patients. Because uh, for hematological malignant patients is the immunosuppression condition and so easier infection and maybe the clinical manifestation more severe for the another patients. So we think the human hospital management and the identification of the patients, uh, a typical COVID-19 and the diagnosis, depression diagnosis, and the adjusted treatment and the intervention and the management is all the important. So for the transplantation world, and I, th I think the, it's also very important, we think uh, because and the first, uh, we'd like to optimize in the screen and the admission process. For the fever clinic, we can, can differentiate the patients and uh, the, for the transport uh, patients. And uh, for the pre-transplantation, we will management of the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. And then first, uh, we'd like to divide it as a prevalence area and as a low community prevalence area. And we the light to differentiate the just the CT and the uh, PCR sequencing and the detection and the serum antibody to differentiate the patients. And the peri-hematic stem cell transplantation, we should uh, the, the shipping and the core preservation of the donor stem cells and the alternative help those condition regimes. And uh, for the related donors, we also back up the, uh, so another patient, another another donors, and uh, we should like to have such as uh, measures to reduce intensity condition regimen, and the VIST should be stopped, and if the clinic manifestation rapid diagnosis. So the post human body stem cell transplantation, we also recommended such as uh, into uh, such as a uh, uh, website and visiting the patients and the self-isolation at home and minimize the number of the family member to visit, uh, telemedicine visit to recommended. So for the CAR T therapy, we think also is very important to the treatment of the emerging patients. So uh, animation the procedures of the CAR T treatment during the COVID-19, we also have the uh, measures and first the high community prevalence and the low community prevalence. And for the high patients, we end first as a with a differential diagnosis, the COVID-19 with the CT, uh, the primary CT scan and the uh, uh, RT-PCR sequencing and the 
subdiagnosis and the depression diagnosis. For the CAR T therapies and the, for the donor, uh, if the, such the CAR T come from the donor, we also depression the donor and the evaluation of the uh, ep epidemic uh, histories. And uh, so such as uh, uh, maybe we have this quarantine sometimes and uh, for the safety and the uh, sequencing for the CT and the RT-PCR and then we will enter to the procedure of the CAR-T therapies. So it's my summary of all the uh, our hospital. And uh, also last year, we have the suffer from the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And in our sentence, we have offer perform and uh, more than uh, 30 cases uh, of the CAR-T therapies. And uh, last year we have the, the, about the 250 cases received the hepro identical stem cell transplantation. I hope, and uh, another country's colleagues, we, we can uh, over, overcome this the pandemic COVID-19 and we also have the success in the treatment of the patients. Thank you, thank you for your attention.